All right, so this is going to be the second gun that we're going to field strip today. Um, check the link in our description as well as in, on the top of the page for um, our Ruger 97 DAO field strip, the Glock 27, and our Ruger LCP2. All right, moving on to the S&P shield. So the first thing we need to do is unload it. Drop the mag out. Take the one out of the chamber. Pretty good. All right, next thing we want to do is go ahead and cock it on back. And I want everybody to pay attention to, to this lever right here. I'm just going to swing it forward and down. I'm going to swing it forward and down. Make sure y'all can see that. All I did was just swing the lever forward and down. The next thing that you're going to do, you're going to uncock it and just press the trigger. Just that simple. And it's going to come apart. Same way we did with all the um, other pistols in this series. We're going to just take the spring forward and the rod. We're going to take the barrel out. I'm going to wipe, move this out the way. I'm going to wipe all of this down and um, I guess I'm going to speed through this again and I'll be right with you. go ahead and get ready for this reassembly this right here is by far my favorite gun uh, for shooting purposes as well as assembly purposes because it's extremely simple all we're going to do is put the barrel back in here and if you notice in the video i didn't clean inside the middle of the barrel the reason being is i clean these often um, i just didn't want to take the time to clean it inside i know it'll be okay i'm going to put my spring back right here push it back forward Kind of a tight fit and all i have to do is push it pushes on once i caught this back this should line back up if it doesn't i'm going to show you another way to make it line back up um but just bear with me all right so i caught it back and it did go it did go back into place let me let you see you can see that it did indeed go back into its original position so if you're ever able to caught this back and it doesn't line back up in place, all you have to do, let me get it back down first. All you have to do is move it forward into this piece right here. Zoom in right quick. To this piece right here aligns with this groove right here. So we can just cock it back, align the groove till it's in place, and then snap the gun back forward and you're in good position. Do it real quickly again for you. Take it back, pop it down, take it out, put it back in, then jump in place so I can find that groove, twist it back myself, and I was ready to go.